Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and on this episode of The Haul, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to choose the right side steps for your Silverado and your lifestyle. There's quite a few different styles to choose from as far as side steps, nerf bars, running boards, and drop steps go, all of which are geared for the different preferences you might have. Now we've got my own 2016 in the shop here today, but this will work for any generation of Silverado. I've got an example of each of the different styles in the shop here with me. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on cool content like this, as well as builds and product reviews. When it comes to side steps or any of the types I just mentioned, you wanna make sure you're getting the one that fits your type of truck. Some guys use their truck as a daily driver, some for work and utility, others for off-roading, or just trying to get more of an aggressive, rugged look. Now, if you're using your truck for daily driving, you might be looking for a sidestep to simply just help you hop in and out of the truck safely. You might be looking for something basic and more traditional, like this barricade three inch oval curved sidestep. This one has the rocker panel mount. It's a classy, very common design that gives you a very basic sidestep. It serves its function with the three inch tubular construction, making it the most affordable type of step in the category. This kind of bar sticks out a bit from the body, extends the length of the cab, and leaves space between the tubing and the rocker panel. It offers an ABS slip resistant pad under each of the doors to help you get in and out safely. There isn't anything too flashy about a tubular curved oval sidestep like this. It's typically for the daily driver looking to keep the price down at around the $150 to $200 mark for the set. They don't offer much protection, just from door dings in the parking lot, so it's definitely not meant to be used for off-roading at all. This one is just more of a traditional and basic type of sidestep, and the barricade 3 inch oval curved option is a perfect example of that style. Our next kind of sidestep is going to piggyback off of our last one when it comes to styling. The Raptor Series 5 inch wheel to wheel sidestep bar is a perfect example of a traditional utility sidestep. Now these beefier bars are 5 inch tubular steel as the name suggests, and this one has a polished finish which is a really popular finish in the category. The other big difference with this step is the wheel to wheel design. A wheel to wheel bar is a great choice for anyone using their truck for utility applications. Now if you've got a toolbox in the bed or if you're hauling some cargo more often than not, then a wheel to wheel option that offers the third stepping pad under the side of the bed for easier, safer access to your cargo is a really good option. This step is also not going to be a really good off-road option, but if you're daily driving looking for that aggressive appearance and easier bed access, this option is a great choice. It's a little pricier than our first step that I mentioned. This one typically comes in toward the $400 to $500 range, simply because of its size difference and extended bars. If you're looking to stray away from the traditional rounded or oval sidestep, a running board is a great way to go. Now a running board hugs the body of your vehicle, eliminating that negative space or gap, and it also typically offers the entire bar as a stepping pad, instead of those individual ones under the doors. The Barricade Pioneer running board is a great example of that. Now you can see the full bar offers good grip to get you in and out safely, and it's got a really modern look to it. Now this type of design is more stylish, so if you're looking for a nice change of pace for most other truck owners on the road, this option is a great kind of choice. Now this one in particular is constructed in both 304 stainless steel and aluminum, so it's slightly more durable and offers the ground clearance that the previous styles do not. The big thing here is that it's more for someone looking for styling and function over protection. Running boards can range from just about anywhere on the pricing spectrum depending on the materials. This one, however, is super affordable at about 200 bucks. Now, if you're looking for that modernized type of styling in a running board, the Barricade Pioneer option is a really great example of that. Next in line is one that's farthest away from the rest of the styles. I have here the NFAB cab length nerf side steps, which are also known as drop steps. Now, a drop step is essentially a closed off stepping pad that drops down lower from the truck in order to give you the easiest possible aid to get you in and out of your truck. Now this type of step is great for anyone with a lifted truck because you don't have to reach up as high to get your foot onto the step. Now drop step has more of a secured pad thanks to the enclosed stepping pad you see here. They're typically a one piece steel construction which makes them way more durable than the tubular or aluminum options before. Now the downside to a drop step is that they offer the least amount of ground clearance. These will absolutely not perform well if you're hitting the trails, simply because of obstacles like a log or rock can get hung up on the step if they're big enough. They do stick out a little bit more as well so you get a little more side protection from those door dings. The textured black finish is another option out there that's widely offered in the category, which can also help with scratch and rust protection. A drop step is geared more toward the truck owner looking for a nice rugged styling with the easiest time getting in their truck, whether it's lifted or not. The NFAB cab length nerf bar is a perfect example of a drop step. The last sidestep I want to talk about today is one great for protection. Now, 90% of the sidesteps out here are not geared for hitting the trails and taking on tough obstacles. If you are hitting the trails, you'll definitely want one that's made from a one-piece heavy-duty steel with some really strong welds. 
For example, the RBP RX3 Sidestep is a really good option for protection. Now while this particular one does hang down pretty low and lose a little bit of ground clearance, it does offer a lot of protection for your side panels, your rocker panels, and your underbody. Now if you were to high center your truck while hitting the trails off-road, this would definitely keep your frame off the ground and give you a little bit more peace of mind there. Now because this particular sidestep from RBP does lose some ground clearance on your truck, if you plan on hitting the trails or coming in contact with any obstacles at the work site that might pose a threat to your stock height, you might want to throw a lift on with it just because of the lack of ground clearance. Once you add a lift, you get the ground clearance back, you can take advantage of getting over those obstacles safely and still having the most protective sidestep available. Now when it comes to that one piece steel, this is something that's resistant to bending and cracking like the tubular options we've mentioned before and it also has a corrosion and rust resistant layer with its textured black finish. If you are using your truck to its fullest potential hitting the trails with your off-road ready truck, whether it's for camping, hunting, or fishing, you want a very functional and protective sidestep like the RBP RX3 option here. You also want one that's going to look the part too. If you have a rugged protective step, you want it to look that way as well. This one's got a very, very unique styling with its welded on steel brackets. It's also got a very nice steel plated step here with an aluminum brushed finish on the inside with the RBP name cut out. If you are looking to hit the trails with your truck and you have a lift kit already set up on your suspension, the RBP RX3 option is great for protection and it really looks the part, which is why it's my pick for protective styling. Well that just about covers it. There's a sidestep out there for everyone and I hope this video helped you narrow down which styles and types are best for you and your Silverado. Now if it did help, leave us a comment letting us know which one you're going with. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all things Silverado and Sierra. And keep it locked right here at AmericanTrucks.com.